The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start our show with the DAX and then followed closely by the FTSE. You can see uh, they've had a little bit of a top formation, if that is in fact what it is. And then you'll also see that uh, the FTSE is a little weaker than the DAX. But uh, we're in a time now with the... Uh, uh, middle of August here, or, well, the end of August. This happens to be uh, the anniversary date of the high in 1987, folks. It was a Tuesday. I was on TFNN that day with Bill Griffith and Ron Insana for uh, KWHY in Los Angeles, FNN, Financial News Network. And I was a guest there for, I started being a regular guest, so this was about my third appearance. And I've been talking to Bill about a potential top in the market because of the harmonic convergence of the five planets coming in on August the 25th. So they had me that day. And I had a new car, and my daughter was living in Los Angeles, going to UCLA, but she was at home. And so she wanted to uh, ride down to the and drive the car actually on the freeway so we uh, we went down and uh, we were driving down the freeway i will never forget this and she said dad she says you're going to be on the show today she said just promise me one thing she said i said what's that she said all my friends are watching so please don't use the f word i said jilly i said i don't use it that often do i she said dad probably more often than you might think and since that time i i cut it back to almost zero but i still slip uh once in a while but i still remember that and i remember talking with bill about it and i told him that sometime in october that we will be down more than 300 points in one day in the dow jones remember the dow's only trading at 2700 so 300 points was a huge drop that's well over 10 percent and we were actually down 16 percent uh, on that day but that's neither here nor there now the reason why i'm bringing this to your attention is because bloomberg came on today and they were literally i mean literally barbecuing the guy from uh, pershing capital uh mr uh bill ackerman i mean this guy has had a tremendous career He's done a great deal. Let me get his, this get, get this up here. Here's what they were complaining about. Here's uh, here's Ackerman's company, Pershing Square. And you'll notice here it had the big ABCD up there at 34. It's now trading at 19, dropped pretty much in half. But you'll notice here that this thing has been going down. Now, your, your job, if you're in Pershing Square and you see something going down like this, there's got to be a point where you say, well, maybe I can do this better myself. I'm not – hey, he's a good guy. He He's a – I, you know, he's a big poker player. I never played at his level before, but he's a pretty smart dude, and he's been very successful. But, boy, they were barbecuing him today. What they didn't do is they forgot, and, of course, this was many, many years ago, and you're only you – know, this is like the restaurant business. You're only good as the, 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 the dessert uh, course. You'll notice here, back in uh, in uh, March of uh, 2020, when we started the, the – uh, right after the uh, – a COVID thing. Look, he, he started buying this stuff. I remember it was $59. He came out and said he accumulated a position, a billion dollars at 59, and it went to 120. So he doubled his money on that. But they didn't bring that up today. What they were doing was they were barbecuing because he was doing poorly with his PSTH or Pershing Square. There's a moral to this story, folks. Okay, listen to me very, very closely. Sit around the campfire a little closer. You got to be responsible for your own trades, boys and girls. There's nobody going to be out there to hold your hand. Mark Douglas has written two books about that. It's learning to be responsible for what you're doing. You got to forget those four major fears. Look into the mirror. Look at that nine inch cycle from your left ear to your right ear and take responsible for your trades. When I send the 24 7 
things 24 8 24 the 24 7 charts and videos out i try to bring it to your attention the major major supports and places where you want to be looking to go long i try to give you a rough idea what the risk is on it but you're the one that's responsible for it folks we we talked about the corn the corn uh, at uh, the 530 uh, 530 level in december corn we're almost to the objective folks we're almost uh, 1500 dollars profit book that if you get it i mean you don't get 50 hundred dollars in corns you're going to be a farmer for only four days but by golly that's a good four days so take that profit and run to the bank and send me my 40 <laughs> percent that's a joke boys and girls anyway that's uh, that's what you have to do you're a trader you know you be but you were a farmer for a few days now if you wanted to hold that position through the uh uh through the uh what you call it the uh, growing season you know that's certainly up to you but you know i'm willing to book it we say the same thing in the crude oil we had a nice buy in crude oil and had a huge move and so you book some of it it's trading just about right where we got out of it so we're waiting to buy it back on a pullback but as that chance we haven't had that uh, the euro's working okay corn's working okay uh we just got out of the silver we didn't want to be in the silver into the uh the fed time which will probably be wild and crazy like it always is but we had a nice profit uh in the silver too so that's uh what we're watching here Okay, uh, Bill, Bill is expecting uh, the corn to move $30. Uh, I don't know what that means, uh, $30, Bill, because, uh, hmm, okay, not to worry. Let's get let's move on here to cover a couple other things. Folks, uh, a long time ago, uh, Robin Hood came out with its, uh, what do you call it, his uh, uh, projections. This is, uh, the, the, get the, I'm going to get this up here. I want to explain to you what the ABCD is. Okay, here's what we're looking at right here. This is Robin Hood. If you remember, we put this in here a long, long time ago. I saved these, and we were looking for the market to get down to about 46. Well, it got down to 42. You can see that that ABCD pattern was pretty much spot on, so all you had to do was wait. Of course, it's only trading up a few dollars from that now, but it shows you the value of the ABCD pattern. Now, that's important for a couple of different reasons. And this is where you've got to do a little bit of homework. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that same chart and I blew it up a little bit and I put the other ABCD patterns that are in here. You see those simple ABCD patterns that are there? That measure to 40. 4181 the low was 4235 that's how close you came to the actual bottom any anything below 42 or 43 was actually the buy because you can see that last abcd was right there and we've rallied up to 49 that's why the abcd is so important and there's another reason why i brought this up folks this morning at six o'clock my time i get a phone call from elliott wave international and it was none other than Robert Prechter calling me up and telling me that, by golly, that guy, Gartley, really did have something with that ABCD. And so did Manwat Bandelbrot. And so, by golly, we're going to have to start talking about there more often. I almost fainted. But then the alarm went off, and I realized it was just a dream because that's never going to happen. <laughs> that is never going to happen. So you can forget about that. A, B, C, D is simple. You just got to be able to work with it a little bit. But that that's re really what it's all about, boys and girls. It's nothing more, nothing less. You can see them all over the charts that we just posted here in the FTSE and in the, in the DAX. Uh, we saw it in the Robin Hood. We've seen the Pershing Square. It's everywhere. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. 
Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff from Philadelphia in the house today. Jeff, are you there? Yes. Uh, hi, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. What can I do for you, my friend? I have a, a simple question uh, regarding the butterfly pattern. So uh, you have a list of uh, rules and preferences regarding the Gartley pattern, mm -hmm. and I assume that you would want all those uh, rules and preferences uh, to be true also for a butterfly, except, of course, for the position of the D-point. But other than that, would you uh, right? You would apply all those same rules and preferences uh, to yes. the butterfly as you would to the butterfly? Yeah, the key there, you know, a, a butterfly is a, a Gartley pattern that failed. In other words, instead of stopping right. at 786, it's gone up to either a 1.27 and a 1.618. The key, Jeff, is uh, you must look at how the market is acting as it gets to 1.27. If it gets there with a really strong gap or a, a wide-ranging bar, most probably it'll extend up to the 1.618. It's okay to do the trade at 1.27, but anything above it, I mean, just more than just a few hundred dollars, you're wrong, and you have to try it again at the 1.618. It's a difficult pattern, but boy, when it it, it works about 70% of the time, and when it works, it's, it's a real monster, so it's worth looking at. But you have to be really really aware between 1.27 and especially 1.618. Above 1.618, you forget it and go back to trading cattle or something because this thing will just not work. It's got to stop exactly at those numbers or it's no good. Okay. and uh, but, but the rules of, of the Gartley, you would want those to apply to the butterfly also like for example, the uh, the B point. I remember you want to you want to have to pull back to at least a three eight two. 
So that would be true for the butterfly also. Because yes, it, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have the retracement numbers. And then remember, only really looking at the four majors, 618, 786, and are the retracements 127, 1.618 on expansions. And so that's why we try to keep it as simple as possible. But the rules are pretty much the same because it, all the Gartley is, all the, all the butterfly is, is a Gartley pattern that's failed. Right. Okay. That, that was my assumption. I just wanted to, uh, to, to verify it. Uh, thank well, you very thank much. You. Thanks for calling in. I hope you have your kayak working. I understand I got enough water in Philadelphia to float down the streets, I'm understanding. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the sun's uh, shining today, so I think we'll be okay. Well, okay, that's good. Thanks for calling in, Jeff. We appreciate it. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, we're going to try to have – today will be Stan Harley. Tomorrow or Friday, we're going to try to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on. But I wanted to post a chart here that I got from uh, our friend over in uh, – Kentucky Hubert Centers, and it's basically showing, you know, what, what happens in a market, how the markets move around. And, you know, we've seen this big run that we've had, that we've seen the NASDAQ go from 4,000, uh, 4,900 down to 1,500, and 1,500 to 15,000 over the last nine years. And so the question is, is where are we? Are we in a new paradigm? Are we uh, in an area of enthusiasm? Where are we within this list? We know we're somewhere. But the, the $64 question is where, and that's it. I do know this is how it's going to end. The question is the timing of it's going to be a little difficult. Now, because we're right up at 40, near 4,500 in the S&P and the Fed coming out today, my assumption is we'll probably see some kind of a spike, and this, this will be some type of a high day coming in. Whether it's related to the anniversary date or not, or the fact that we had that lunar cycle, I would have no idea. All I know is that these patterns have completed, and that doesn't mean they can't go a lot higher because if the Fed comes out and starts dropping interest rates to protect the bond market, I have no idea if that's going to happen, but it could cause a spike and even higher than 45.20 or something like that. So that's the main thing of uh, – what you want to be doing is, as you're looking at these, it's the amount of money that you have to risk, folks. That's the, that's the whole key. You know, and I, I keep, I, I harp on that all the time. But believe me, I sat here for three years and listened to Mark yell at me, and well, not yell at me, but chat with me every day about the importance of that. And then he would show me, you know, on the, uh, the trading. Uh, things from Mar Merrill Lynch that the guys that were really, really good at that had, uh, you know, they didn't win very often. They only won about 40% of the time, but their wins were five and six times what their losses were. And that that's what you're trying to do is to, you know, catch some of those. And that's what we, we look at when we're watching some of these things. So, but, you know, it all starts with ABCD and it's that simple. If you just do that, add a few things, practice it a little bit. And you can get it. Don't ever give up, no matter how you are in this business. Uh, if you don't give up, you're going to make it. We saw that in those those uh, accounts from Mark, two from Merrill Lynch, over 10,000 of them. The ones that stayed with it for more than a couple of years eventually found out how to do it, and they were able to do it. But new people coming in, they're only right about uh, you know 15% of the time. They come and go pretty good. That's what the people feed off of. But we've had so many new ones this year and last year because of the – people at home and trading on the internet and stuff we've had a giant number and that that puts us in a real difficult situation in the market folks because these are in, inexperienced people and the, these big breaks that we've had like 70 handles just a few weeks ago in the s p and then it comes right back and makes news high that's that's the problem because it comes right back and if you happen to be, you know, long that and it broke 70 handles and you helped with it, oh, you made a nice profit. Yeah, well, one of these days it's not going to come back, and that's the one that's going to bite you on your kabuki, and you don't want to uh, run into that. So that's the main thing. We've got Mike from California on the line. Mike, how are you? Good morning, Larry. Nice to talk to you again. I like your word, kabuki. Yeah, <laughs> it's an Italian word for uh, – your bum. <laughs> it's, yeah, actually gotcha. it's actually Japanese. Listen, what can Larry, I do for I, you, buddy? I'd like yeah. you to take a look at uh, Tesla, and sure. I'm looking for an entry point or somewhere where it's um, risk or reward is appropriate to get in the stock for a, a long-term trade. Okay, you, you'd like to be a buyer of it. Good morning, Larry. Nice to talk to you. Pardon me? You want to be a buyer of Tesla? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My my assumption here. Let me get this up here and put the chart up. It's real simple. Now I don't know what's going to happen with the market. I have a. I'm expecting a top in here in the next few days. But if we look at this, 
You'll see here we had a low here the other day at 645. We're now trading at 710. If we clear above 740, uh, we're probably going to go a lot higher. But I, I don't like buying strength, so I'm, I'm, I would be really careful right there. But if you, if you really wanted to buy it and, and not risk very much, the over the last few days, I'm talking the last 10 trading days, we had a pretty big range, and we're already trading above the 78% level, which was at uh, 706. So that tells you that it has a bullish bias. But what I would like to do, if if it were, in, in, of course, I, I buy retracements, Mike. So you know, you're going to have to think differently than me. If this market breaks out above 740, uh, you're going to have to risk about $100. But, well, not much. You have to risk about $80 if you buy. It. Remember, that's a $700 stock, so that's not too bad. But anything above 740 is pretty bullish because it's it's had this level here now for well over two months. So getting above it. You know, that's it. Some really smart people have been buying this. And, you know, it's not a car company, folks. It's a data company. It has nothing to do with the uh, with the Tesla. It's all about SpaceX and all the other stuff that Musk has going on. And that's how he pays for it. But uh, that's the number is 740. You get above 740. Uh, you, uh, pretty hard to be bearish. Larry, let, let me ask you what you're expecting for uh, for retracement. Um, I mean, uh, pullback in this general market. Yeah, stay stay with us here. Oh, I have to tell you, uh, it, it's about twenty percent, Mike. Twenty percent. Okay, twenty percent. Thank you. Across yeah. the indices. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I believe we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter on the line. Stan, how are you today? Testing one, two, three. Stan Harley What's coming in. Hey, I think you are you there, my friend? I am. I can hear you loud and clear. Are you able to hear me? Yes, you're coming in great. We have a question from one of our listeners to start the show, and that is, uh, today's the anniversary date of the top in 1987. Do you use any anniversary dates in your analysis? Yeah, I heard you talking about that a little while ago. Yes, I remember that August 25th, 1987 date as well. Um, no. The short answer is, is no, I don't. I am aware of them, but Larry, over the long haul, I have not found anything that I could hang my hat on uh, re that showed reversals would occur on the same date year after year or. Yeah, I'm the same yeah, way, Stan. I agree with you. Not enough there to hang my hat on. Yeah. It's interesting yeah. to note, but nothing I would ever trade on for sure. I agree with you. I did find it very interesting. Uh, you were talking a little while ago about driving down to uh, KWHY <laughs> Channel 22 with your daughter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, like you, I was a I was a guest on that same station many times as well. I took my son down there to the studio, and uh, as you were telling that story, I was kind of going down memory lane in my own mind. Yeah, remember seeing Ed Hart and all the gang. It was really it, it was just really uh, really fun. I I really enjoyed it, and it, it it was a lot. Well, Ron and Sana, the whole group, you know, it was just. Uh, it's great. Okay, the first one you're looking at here is the S&P 500 breaking out at a new high ground. Uh, are you seeing any reason here for a 1% sell-off or maybe two down days in the market? Well, uh, interesting. I caught your comments uh, a few minutes ago. You are less than uh, positive on the markets, and I'm in the same camp as you, Larry. Uh, okay. Pinning this thing down to the day is always a challenge. Uh, tops. Uh, pr pr predicting tops is always subject to model waddle <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, it tops tend to be protracted affairs that is as the yeah. top evolves and tops typically span several months we yeah. tend to get thinner and thinner a thinner a thinning and the thinning in the advance as fewer stocks and fewer indices make record highs mm -hmm. so when you get to the final pinnacle high you're looking at the fewest number of stocks and indices and that's what I see developing right now uh, you've got the Dow and the NAS in record high ground. Uh, as we speak, uh, not so the Dow, certainly not the New York Composite, and definitely not the Dow Transports. Mm -hmm. Definitely not uh, the ACWX, the world, the all-world country index. Mm -hmm. Definitely not visible in the advanced decline data, as we'll show some charts on here shortly. So divergences are popping up, and the divergence that matters is, is, is the last one, and, uh, and we won't know that until after the fact. But, but I think mm -hmm. we are... Very, very close. Well, I agree with you. It's like with hand grenades. You just have to be close, right, my friend? <laughs> hold, hold on. Uh, let's take a look here at the uh, Dow Jones transportation. Now, this is this is lagging badly. I mean, this is not a – this is a downtrend. It, it absolutely is. And I've looked at decades of topping evolutions, Larry, and I found that the transports are usually either the first or the last to top out in any given – topping cycle. Mm -hmm. The majority of the times I found the transports are the first to top out. So that by itself is not a precise timing indicator, but it is the first among many divergences that evolve over over time as the as the topping evolution unfolds. And as you can see, the transports are gee, they're more than 10% off their former highs, which were set mm -hmm. back in uh, in early May of this year. Well, boy, that, that is a big difference, isn't it? Um, one of our other listeners is asking uh, a question about Fourier analysis that was uh, uh, covered in uh, the Hearst book, Profit Magic of Stock Transaction Timing. And I know you're an engineer. Do you use that in your uh, analysis of, of these cycles, Stan? Um, I'm quite familiar with it and studied it when I was an aerospace engineering major in college. Uh, mm -hmm. For market analysis, I don't use it. I don't use it mm. per se. I do utilize the program provided by the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, which employs Fourier analysis and the mm -hmm. extraction of cycles. Um, and, and for that, it's a, it's, it's a useful tool. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's like you say, when tops are harder to find than bottom, I, I think the reasoning for that is that fear is a greater emotion than greed, and it's easier to it's easier to calculate because you can you can see fear in the faces of people. Greed, you don't see faces; it's more of a, a blank stare. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, that's it. That's an interesting observation. That's probably true in some respect. Um, but I'm a, a quantitative theorist in, in this business. I, I want to I want to find the formula. I want to pin it down to a number. <laughs> Wow, very and, good. Emotion is something I cannot, I'm incapable of calculating. Quantitative theorists, I like that. This is good. <laughs> hey, listen, let's take a look here at your next chart, which is the, uh, I believe, is it the advanced decline line? I think it was, wasn't it? Here? Yeah, it's the advanced it's, decline it's, line. Yes, and we've touched on this briefly in, in, in past talks on the air. Uh, I keep track of, uh, of the advanced decline line, and for those people watching who do not know what it is, if one keeps a running summation of each day's net difference between advancing issues and declining issues and plots them, uh, that, that plot is called the advanced decline line. And that's what we have here on the screen. As a general precept uh, to support the bull market thesis, wants to, one wants to see the advanced decline line rising as the market goes up. And then as tops are formed, we usually see some kind of a divergence. Usually, usually, <laughs> The AD line tops out before the uh, the final pinnacle high. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes after the fact, but probably 95% of the time, the AD line peaks out first. And as one can see on the chart here, the AD line actually topped out on July 1st. Here we are, mm -hmm. August 25th, seven weeks later. And the red is the AD line, and the 10 is a 10-day moving average. And as one can see, we are making progressively lower and lower highs on the advanced decline line and lower mm -hmm. lows as well. Well, now, the oscillator that you're talking about, that is a derivation of the advanced decline line, so that you can see. Uh, yeah, well, yeah the, this last chart is the same data, the advanced decline data, but instead of maintaining a, a running summation, I take the same net difference between advancing issues and declining issues, and I compute a 10-day a moving average and a 30-day moving average, and I mm -hmm. plot them both on the same graph. And it os oscillates above and below zero, unlike the AD line, which just goes up mm -hmm. and up towards infinity. Uh, but as one can see here, as this market advances continue the last several months, notice how both the 10-day and the 30-day moving averages have made lower and lower and lower peaks. Mm -hmm. And it's now approaching the zero line. And I ran this off uh, about 30 minutes ago. You can see both the 10-day and the 30-day are... Our, well, the 30-day is, is just above the zero line, and the 10-day component is actually in negative territory. Mm -hmm. So what does that wow. tell me? It tells, this, tells me this market rally is running out of rocket mm -hmm. fuel. Yeah. Okay, now the last time we were on, you told us about COVID, and you said that we were all going to die, but you just couldn't tell us when. Now, the question that we have for you, is this going to be increasing? We're going to get one variant after another. Do you have any feeling on that being a... Well, actually, well, uh, actually, I did focus on the timing element. Uh, yeah, hey, I think it's going to peak out around the first week of October. Okay, All right. Hey, thanks for joining us, Dan. We'll have you on again soon. Okay, buddy? Look forward to it, Larry. Be, be, be safe. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
the technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I've been asked to chat about the Treasury bonds. I posted the uh, short-term daily one over the last several months. You can see that, that uh, we're in a little bit of a downtrend now. Uh, we've been down for four days now. We're very, very oversold, so we probably expect a rally here. Uh, for something that the, the people might say there from uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So that's a, a very, very interesting uh, thing to remember. So I saw a segment today on the public uh, TV station that uh, they always uh, make a big deal out of where the Fed is, whether they're in Davos or uh, Jackson Hole or wherever those exotic places are they go. They don't go to the Tucson Holiday Inn, folks, because it's just a little out of the way. But they do go to nice places, and, and, there's, and there's a lot of you know, media behind it. But yep, and when the Bilderbergs meet in Switzerland, these are the more, there are more CEOs go to that one than any of the other meetings combined. Uh, no one even knows where it is, and that's because the people that control the media don't want you to know when those meetings are. At least that's what the guy was saying on the PBS station today, so whether that means much or not. Let's go back to the bonds here because the bonds are at a very, very critical level, folks. Let's, let's look at the history here of this. When bonds started trading in 1976, okay, yeah, Jackson Hole is an absolute beautiful place. There's no question about it. Uh, I have a great Jackson Hole uh, story uh, my nephew that played for the Colts, the Baltimore Colts, Larry, he was dating a girl, and they had a home there in Jackson Hole. They were there for the Christmas holiday. Uh, it's a beautiful home. There were like four homes on this cul-de-sac, and they, they had a little their own little health club and pool there for everybody. They, it was like a, a mini uh, clubhouse. It was a nice clubhouse anyway, That and, my, and Larry's really loved kids, and there were little kids out there playing in the snow all the time, and here he is, six foot five. And he's out there, you know, helping building snowmans and stuff and things like that. And so he, uh, the the lady uh, said, "Come on in and have some hot chocolate." So she he goes in and he he gets he gets home and he calls he calls his his mother, Car my sister Carla. He says, "You know, call Uncle Larry, ask him who these people are." He says, "I, I he says, I've seen them before, but but I don't know who they are." And uh, so he calls me up and I said, "Well, what were what were they? What were their names?" He said, well, "I don't know." He said, "There was a bunch of them in there." And uh, he started giving me a few names here and there. And I said, oh, well, I, you have to give me more information. So that afternoon, he goes down to work out in the, in the, in the, the room there. And in there was Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it was, it was the, the part of the Kennedy clan was there. 
And uh, that was uh, that was a big. He didn't know didn't know him from Adam. Didn't make any difference, which was good. Let's get back to the business here. Here, Treasury bonds, long term weekly. Okay, this thing started in 1976 when bonds were trading at 54. Now they're at 165. You can imagine that. What's that done is it's destroyed all old people's retirement because that's basically what they've done. They taxed them serendipitously or whatever that big word is. Notice the big ABCD up there, folks, back in 2020. That's when they were feeding us. We're going to negative interest rates, right? Well, we went from 192 all the way down to 152. So that tells you. And then what have we done now over the past nine months? We've rallied right up to almost an exact 382 at 167. We missed it at 167.05. The number was 167.28. We're now trading at 164. And so this is a very, very bearish chart, folks. This is uh, telling you that bonds topped two years ago, and they are heading down. Where, I don't know, but my guess is if they pass some of this stuff, about $3.5 trillion and stuff, and uh, say, what is his name? My, 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 grand, uh, my, my nephew's name? Greg. Greg. Greg Gower is his name. Anyway, uh, but he he was working out with weights with Bruce Willis and uh, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then he knew who where they were, and he told me what it was all about. But uh, when he was there, he was uh, he he saw so many people that he didn't know who they were, but he knew they were very very important because there were pictures of them all over the place. So that's uh, I could tell another story about being in London uh, with uh, Prince Edward, but I don't want to get into that. Let's move on here to just a minute here. Remember these bonds, folks, are really big. Uh, he only he only played uh, for eight. Team, well, two years. He was a he was a journeyman player, but he made enough in those two years to buy a beautiful house, and he was quite happy with it. And uh, of course, he still had a lot of friends that were in it in that time. So, that's it. He was an All American at Indiana. Okay, let's move on. Following in my footsteps, I was All American in knife and forks Olympics. I had an honorable mention bronze medal that I still cherish to this day. Okay, now to the next one. <laughs> I better stop my medication, folks. I started to get a little bit. Thank you for laughing, Marshall. And God bless you on your coming uh, surgery for Lynn. We're praying for you, buddy. We're sorry not to see you this month but uh, or this summer, but we'll hope to see you very, very soon. Okay, uh, let's take a look here at a couple of things that I think are relatively important. In the future, I'm going to share you a little Christmas present, folks. This is a Christmas present. Get ready for this because if you belong to the 24-7, you got that special report that we sent out. And take a look at this, folks. This is the old cows right here. This is October cattle. Now, those of you that like ABCD, go back to April, okay? You see the high in April? Do you see the low in April? Do you see the high in April? Do you see the low in June? Look at that. A, B equals C, D. A, B equals C, D. This is really, really hard stuff, folks, because all you have to do at that point is wait for the 200-day moving average to cross the 100-day moving average and the 50-day oscillator across the 25-day oscillator, and you got your buy point, and you can stay with it for quite a while. You could buy more on the pullback into July, and now you're up in an area where it's going to be some – really interesting things. Now, if you have a real interest in this, you belong to 24-7, and I'll show you the importance of that number up there because it's a very, very important number. So keep in mind that those are the things that are great. When I was at Drexel, they uh, that was back in, it was from 76 to 82, and in 78, the price of meat was so high, we lot much lower than where it is now, but the housewives were, were picketing. They weren't buying it, and yet the prices still kept going up and up and up, and part of that was because the feed price for beans, or the meal and stuff were, were going higher, and they were just passing it on to the people. They were they were protesting the wrong group of people. So that's it. I harp on this A, B equals C, D forever. Most people don't pay any attention to it, and I guess that's the way life should be. But uh, if you really want to make a business out of this, look at A, B, C, D, and that's – Put a couple little things with it, and you have a pretty good idea what the market's doing because that's all they ever do, folks. They just do A, B, C, D all the time. Here's one that we followed for quite a while. We had a really big one in here just a few weeks ago, back, well, about a month or so ago. Uh, is this layer? Oscillators and moving average. Yeah, that's me. I do a lot. I've already done the oscillators and moving average, Bo. You missed it. You'll have to stay in for uh, next time I do it, which is in 2046, if I'm still here. Look at the three drive to a top pattern there in the hogs up there in June. 
uh, you know, defy human nature. You know, look at the time and price. Look how easy that is, A, B, C, D. Perfect three drive, high to high to high. I mean, it's just amazing. And then you come down, you make a beautiful head and shoulders pattern right there at the 78% level there at 94. You come down, you make another Gartley, A, B, C, D, right at the 786. And now you're in between here. It looks like you're getting ready to get up to that 91 level. So that's uh, what it, anything below 85 would uh, be relatively, uh, well, well, not we relatively be very nervous. We'll take a little break here. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Nothing better than have Mr. Z at the end of the show. John, how are you today? Larry, I'm doing very well. Thanks for the show. Uh, Stan, as well. Tell me on silver, please. Comex Silver. Yes. Back there on Sunday the 8th. We had that uh, huge uh, dive that immediately mm -hmm. reversed. It hit the exact ABCD target going lower. And now we've just uh, gone comatose. And I know how you trade, but let me say, let's take this hypothetical that uh, you've got a gun to your head. And if uh, September or December silver, by the way, we need to roll to December by uh, the close tomorrow afternoon, 
But uh, if we get over the highs of the past two weeks and you chase it on a break over those, how do you handle the long position is my question. And, and I, this is all just theoretical, please. Okay, John, first of all, if I chase it, don't listen to me anymore because I don't chase markets. I don't, I won't, I will not, and I shall not, and I cannot. I don't, I don't know where to – and, you know, I used to sit here with Mark, and I'd tell him this is breaking. I said, why don't you buy it? I said, I don't know where to put a stop. He says, just pick a spot. And he would say, just pick a spot. He said, it's going higher. He said, it's above the 786. He said, buy it. And I said, well, I never did. So I, I'm a very, very, okay, very – I'm a very poor breakout. In fact, I was. We were just stopped out of our silver that we bought down there. We made a little over sixty cents in it, but we got stopped out on the low tick today, and uh, it happened to be a perfect ABCD. But when I put the order in, I, I just didn't. I didn't know there was going to be an ABCD there. I just knew if it went below, uh, you know, the uh, sixty level, uh, twenty three sixty. I didn't want to have it. It happened to hit exactly twenty three sixty, and uh, so I'm out of it, waiting to see what's happened. But it's acting a little. It's not acting nearly as strong as gold. You know, silver should be way above 24 cents, run 24.50 if it's running like what gold is, but that's not it. But, you know, it'll have some wild action just because of the Federal Reserve here in an hour. Well, 15 minutes. Hey, th John, thanks for joining us, buddy. I, uh, I did my best to get you to try it. Okay, see ya. Bye. Okay, pal. Bye-bye.